I think that's some of what we found the power to be, which is if you really take kind of the top 1% of companies that you can find, and then you take the top 1% of mentors, right, and you sort of work together for an extended period of time, uh, really magic starts to happen. It seems like angel investing's gotten a lot more sophisticated, and according to the Angel Capital Association, people who invest in a portfolio are getting 25, 35%. Yeah, I, I think you, you know, what you've seen over the last you know, seven, 10 years, uh, through many different groups and functions. I mean, Texer is just one example, I think, of what I would think of as the professionalization of angel investing, yeah. right? We've, we've had angel groups. This is a, a, a new model where people get together and try to create you know, real leverage for the people in their network, the companies that they fund. Angel investing is, is still uh, a very risky sport. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I've been saying, I, I'm not, I don't have the data, but I, I'm sure it's true that 80% of angel investors don't make money. You know, in terms of what I'm looking for, it's it's uh, you know, Techstars certainly you know will take a lot more risk. Um, you know, it'll fund a company that's a couple of people and a dog and an idea. Mm -hmm. um, dog is optional, and that's uh, good to know. Yeah, you don't have to have a dog. It's fine. Yeah. Idea you got to have, um, but not much more than that to get into Techstars. You know, we're, we're we're looking generally in early stage for you know six things uh, in order, and I talk about them all the time. It, it's team, team. 